Hello everyone, my name is Paige. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm doing a 50 facts about me video because in light of opening this channel, I feel like there are probably a lot of new subscribers who haven't come through my horse channel and you guys might want to know a little bit about me. So let's get started. My birthday is on the 13th of May. I was born on a Sunday and usually my birthday every second year I'm pretty sure lands on Mother's Day and I was born on Mother's Day. I pretty much learned this from school. I can recognize people by how they walk. So how they might move their head, how they might like how fast they walk. I can recognize people by how they walk and I've been able to do that for quite a long time. Okay I've been horse riding for about 11 years. I also took my first lesson when I was four but I've really been like taking it seriously since about the age of 10. I have a dog called Simba. He's a Japanese Spitz. Um, I'll insert a cute picture or video here. Okay, I've owned about 15 fish in my lifetime. This is probably from when I was like a kid, um, but I was just really bad at looking after fish. And now I'm looking after my sister's fish, and that fish has been alive for over a year and is going strong all because of me. Touch wood. <laughs> I actually love broccoli. Broccoli is probably my favorite vegetable. I don't know. I just, I just really love broccoli. Like you know, steam it, put lemon stuff on it, and like it's just, I love broccoli. Now, I never say 20 past two. I'll always say 2:20. Like if I say for example it's 4.50, I'll never say it's 10 to 5, I'll always say it's 4.50, I can't really, I just, I've never said it like that before. I study and absolutely love photography, so I do a photography course at school, photography is one of my favourite things to do, I just feel like you can express yourself really well through taking photos, um, part of the reason why I like to do videography stuff as well, um, but yeah, I love photography. I'm pretty sure most people can do this, but in my family I can recognise who's coming upstairs by how loud they are on the steps. Um, how fast they're walking, etc, etc. I'm sure most people can do that, but that's just something I can do. As an eight-year-old, I was absolutely obsessed with Leonardo DiCaprio and Titanic. Like, crazily, you don't understand. Um, like, I know some people, everyone kind of goes through that obsessed with Leonardo DiCaprio phase, but I'm not kidding. I had, like, giant posters. I got big posters of him for my birthday. I got the Titanic, like... I got the whole feature book, like, the film stuff. I, you don't understand how obsessed I was with Titanic as an eight-year-old and obsessed with Leonardo DiCaprio. Everyone knew me at school in year two as a girl who was obsessed with Titanic, so yeah. If I have any spare time, you will see me playing either Sims 4, pretty much Sims 4. I was gonna try and like salvage myself there, but I don't think so. Mangoes, oranges, and raspberries are probably my favorite fruit. Um, I'm very much a fruit person. I love fruit so much. However, it does annoy me sometimes because it gets like really temperamental. Marcy will understand what I'm talking about here. But it gets so temperamental because sometimes fruit likes to be really like nice and sometimes it doesn't like to be, whereas vegetables kind of always taste the same, if you get what I'm saying. My phone got stolen last year. Um, that was the first time I've kind of had any dealings with the police or like a sit down interview or had to make a statement. So that was kind of like my first police encounter was last year when my phone got stolen along with a lot of other stuff. I've been leasing Winston for just over a year now. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd chuck that in if, in case you guys have just come through here. Winston is the horse that I lease. Um, you guys can follow our journey on my main channel, which I will get a card to pop up right now. I'm absolutely candle obsessed. Um, anyone who doesn't know what to get me for my birthday can just buy me a candle and I'll be happy. Um, Glass House Fragrances is my favourite. I have one burning right now over there, I'm not sure if you can see. That's Galapagos, that was the one that I put in my birthday haul. And I've got like at least four others around the room, so a bit candle obsessed. And my favourite colour is probably blue. And like I just love the idea of like water and like I feel it represents some sort of cleansing and blue is probably just my favorite color. I absolutely love natural lighting. Um, I kind of, I have never used artificial lighting in videos. I have used studio lighting in photography but I feel like natural lighting is just so much better. At current I know that I want to work with animals when I'm older. Um, I'm not exactly sure what specific like field within that I want to work in or what I want to be. But I know it's going to be something with animals, probably something along the lines of some type of vet. Um, but I don't really want to be like the domestic, you know, dogs, cats vet. I would really like to, you know, travel overseas, help like on nature reserves and things and like be vets to tigers and like, you know, you know what I mean? And I spend about 10 hours at the stables every week. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that. I don't really cry at movies very often. The only movie I have ever uncontrollably cried at and not been able to stop was The Notebook. And I think that will be one of the only movies I will... Like, I'm talking like I was crying, 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 I just couldn't stop. Uh, that never happens to me. Usually I'll, like, drop a tear or two and then, like, move on. But... 
that was like a very intense movie for me that I really did cry at a lot. 21. My favourite TV shows are Pretty Little Lies, um, Lost. I've been watching that from about September last year. I just finished it a month ago. Amazing TV show. Well done to the producers. Um, I love Downton Abbey. I'm currently watching that. I've been watching it for about two months now and i am almost finished the series. Um, great TV show. Like, honestly, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this kind of looks like an old show, you know, like English people in like the 1920s, but it's actually a really good show. So, down to nappy and I love Modern Family. I can pretty much recite every episode that has ever aired to you guys because I own all the discs. I watch them at least three times a week and I just... Modern Family's like, if I just want to be happy, I'll just put an episode of Modern Family on, crack up laughing with my parents, and that's that. I love feeling cold. I would I would definitely pick feeling cold over feeling hot. Um, in saying that, I love winter. I do not like, well, I like summer. I kind of just like when it's sunny but freezing, and winter kind of gives that for me. I've always had about three to four really close friends. Um, I've never like been in a big group of like massive friends, if you get what I mean. Um, I don't know why, that looked like someone I knew. Um, I don't know why I, that's always been the case, but I've just always wanted to be friends with like a very close, tight-knit, small group of people, um, because I'd much rather be like with that, you know, close friendship than like just heaps of people who like are your friends but you can't really turn to, if you know what I mean. But I've been able to touch type, like type without, like I could be over here and just like type everything accurately. Um, since about the age of eight, I took an online typing course when I was eight, and I've been able to touch type super fast without looking. That is what touch typing is um, ever since. Um, 25. I absolutely overuse highlighters. I don't know what it is. I have this obsession with highlighters, and they're just amazing. And I can't. I, this is gonna sound weird, but I can't actually concentrate like writing and like reading stuff in school unless I highlight it. Um, so uh, over overly obsessed with highlighters. I'm absolutely obsessed with Disney songs. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because they're so theatrical and like just amazing, but I'm obsessed with them. And we have a Bluetooth thing um, in our car. My hair is really annoying me to understand. Okay. Okay, and we have like a Bluetooth thing in our car. Whenever I say to my parents, can I link up my Bluetooth? They're like, stop her, stop her, stop her, because I will just belt out Disney songs. I don't know if it's because they're so theatrical, but like the music is just so beautiful and like, I don't know, I'm very obsessed with Disney songs and I know most of them off by heart. <laughs> it's kind of sad really. 27, my whole life, I don't know why, but I've been obsessed with cucumbers. Um, from a young child, if my parents, if I was at a restaurant and I wouldn't eat anything, they just say, can we just get a salad with just cucumbers and lettuce and she'll eat that. But I've always been very, very obsessed with cucumbers. And I don't know why, I just feel like they're so hydrating and refreshing. And to be honest, now I feel like I'm quite a good eater. Like I'll eat a lot of different foods. But as a child, I wasn't like that. And something that didn't taste like anything and just tasted like water was the go-to for me. My favorite dessert is Nutella and ice cream. Do not judge it until you try it. Get a bowl of ice cream, smother Nutella all over it. It is absolutely heaven. I actually have a feature wall in my room, which is just here, but you can't see it, um, which I actually redecorate every few months. Right now, it is just a collection of Disney photos. We've got Belle, we've got Cinderella, we've got Lady from Lady and the Tramp. We have um, Elsa. We've just got Disney, Disney, Disney. Um, so, yeah, I will scrap that every few months when I'm bored and redecorate it, and that's kind of a little fun fact about me. I would much, I absolutely just love buying stationery to be honest. Um, if you take me to Officeworks, um, just leave me there for a while and give me an unlimited budget and I will go nuts. Um, so yeah, obsessed with buying stationery, I just don't know there's something so satisfying about it. And I think I would rather buy all new stationery than all new clothes to be honest. Right now, as in life, the one thing I kind of want the most, as in like an object or something, I really just want a Mac. I just want an Apple computer. My family has been on PCs for like forever really and I'm, I started using them in photography and now I just love them so much and I'm really trying to convince my parents to get that as our next desktop computer but oh my god that's like my goal at the moment. I just really want a Mac, a MacBook, I don't care what, just something that's got Mac in it would be great. I love denim and plaid prints. Um, I don't know why but like I'm always wearing denim. I'm wearing it now. Um, and plaid like that red and navy checkered thing. 
Um, I just love plaid and denim. Pairing them together, that's kind of my go-to look. It's true. I absolutely hate the sound of fireworks. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. I think it's because whenever I hear fireworks, it makes my dog so anxious. And in hearing that, it's kind of made me anxious. And I just don't like fireworks. So... For me, I would much prefer to spend New Year's Eve inside, away from all the fireworks. But if I am out, you will just literally see my fingers plugged in my ears the whole time. Because I love the sight of it, but if they could just make, like, soundless fireworks, that would be amazing. Uh, I am a pretty unsocial person, to be honest. Um, as much as I put myself out, the, um, out there on the internet and I interact with you guys, um, as bad as this sounds, it's much easier to do it through a camera and on a computer etc etc I feel like I was actually a lot more social as a child than I am now and I don't know why but to be honest I'm quite an unsocial person I'd much rather I'm just one of those people who you know I'd rather spend time just relaxing with myself and you know relaxing watching a movie sitting with Simba than like going out to parties and things like that and going out with like friends and all that you know I'm just kind of a very unsocial person and can't help to be honest I'd much rather spend time with horses the only food, seafood, that I will actually eat is salmon. I will eat canned tuna, but salmon is kind of the only fish fish that I will eat. If Pinterest did not exist, I would die of boredom at school. Um, I, I love Pinterest. I kind of use it for home design, and I just, I just really love Pinterest, to be honest. It's one of those apps that I feel like doesn't get enough credit for how good it actually is. And, um, if you followed me on my old channel, you will know that I'm quite good at braids and with like hair and styling and that. So that's kind of a little talent that I've got. I'm very good at braids and like just styling hair. I don't know. I haven't done a video on one for a really long time, but that's something I'm quite good at. Relating to hair, I never ever want to dye my hair. Um, I've kind of just... As I've grown up, people have been like to me, Paige, never dye your hair, you know, you ruin it, blah, 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 And I've kind of heard about horror stories and things of, like, hair going wrong. And I kind I don't know, I just really love my hair, to be honest. I know some people, like, have their insecurities and whatever, but, like, my hair is one thing I'm very confident about, and I never want to change it. Um, I wouldn't say I won't change it when it goes grey, but I don't know, I kind of, I just never want to get rid of it. I mean, I just... I love it, so don't plan on dyeing my hair any time in my lifetime. And going back to like weird stuff, um, I actually can't stand the sound of people cracking their knuckles, like going like this. Um, Marcy will know this because she gets um, super, when she gets stressed, one of my best friends, when she gets stressed she starts going like this and I look at her and I'm like, <sighs> I'm just like, sorry, 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 I forgot. Um, but I can't stand the sound of people cracking their knuckles. It's going to give you arthritis, people. It doesn't sound great. It's disgusting, just don't do it. Going a little bit deeper and away from the silly stuff, um, I kind of, I don't have many fears in life, but to be honest, the biggest fear I've probably got is never finding, like, true love. And as silly and as cliche as that sounds, that's probably the only, like, major fear I've got in life is never finding love. So, that's that. <laughs> My favourite YouTubers are probably Zoella and Gabriella. Um, I will leave both their links in the description. Actually, no. I'll just get a card to pop up here. Um, so, they're my favorite YouTubers. The other, you I watch plenty of others, um, but they're kind of just my favorite. I don't know. I, whenever I put, they post a video, I get really excited and I, like, squeal. But, yeah. I love those guys. When I was younger, I actually invented a whole invisible world. I'm talking a horse riding school. I'm talking horses. I'm talking families. I found a property in Glenorie, which is like a rural place in Australia, that I wanted to live. I found like everything. I had a whole file on the computer with what my family would look like, with like actors and things, and like what my horses would look like, and what my riding school would look like. I invented a whole invisible world, and might I add, it was quite amazing. Um, but yeah. Times have changed and that invisible world is actually now invisible now, does not exist. I am, I feel, I mean I can't really judge myself on this, but I feel that I am a very non-judgmental person. Um, I have heard that from people and I just, I don't know, I feel like if it's another person's life, where are you in your right to judge them? And like if you make a decision, I feel like I'm very non-judgy about it about anything really because unless I'm in your shoes I'm not I don't feel I have the right to judge you based on what you're doing. I pretty much had every dental work on the planet done to me. Um I'll pop up a card right now talking about my dental experience. Um but yeah 
Um, 45. I don't eat any red meats. I just eat chicken. That's pretty much the only meat that I will eat. Um, that rhymed. And so yeah. The only eggs that I will eat is scrambled eggs. Um, I don't like poached eggs or boiled eggs, nothing like that. The only eggs I will eat is scrambled eggs. My mum makes great scrambled eggs. And yeah. I live in the city right now, which most of you guys would already know based on like videos you've seen in the past. Um, but yeah, I live in Australia and I live in the city, but I just really want to live in the country. I don't know why, but lately, like I've always kind of wanted to move to the country, but just lately I've, it's like being more prominent than ever. Like I'll be walking down a street and I just feel so claustrophobic with all the buildings and like the busy people and I'm sorry, but it's really windy. I've got my window open and my door keeps moving. I feel like there's like a ghost in here. I pretty much just drink water. If I'm at a party, I will not want soft drink. If I am at a restaurant, I won't order anything apart from water. I'm just a very aqua scented person. Even as a kid, it wasn't that my parents like never let me have it or anything, but I don't know, I just never really liked it and water's always been the go-to thing for me. Um, my favourite restaurant dish to have, if I'm ever in like a crappy mood, I want to be brought up by food or like we're getting takeaway, I will always ask if I can get gnocchi napoletana from our, one of our local Italian restaurants. Um, which is amazing and that food just puts me in a great mood and that's probably my go-to takeaway dish. And last but not least, my favourite toy as a kid was a stuffed dog called Bandit, who I actually have. Um, let me go get him for you. Okay. Alright, so, this is Bandit everyone. Um, Bandit was my dog before I had a dog. Let's just say it like that. Um, but Bandit still sits on my bed. Bandit's still great, to be honest. This, like, you know how we all just have that, like, stuffed toy that we've just loved as kids? Bandit was that toy. Thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you would like to see more. I hope you guys learned a little bit about me. Um, the, I feel like this is kind of like a one-sided thing most of the time, and I never really learn anything about you guys. So, if you can, can you leave one super random fact about yourself? in the comments below and I'll read through them because I just feel like this thing gets very one-sided every now and again and I'd like to know something about you guys. Um, so yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!